Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you an example problem related to homogeneous system of equations in the subject of M1. So basically, from past uh, four to five videos onwards, we are solving system of linear equations, right? We have seen the classification. We have seen some problems on non-homogeneous. We have seen a problem on homogeneous. So this is the second problem on homogeneous equations. Uh, like how to solve like one more example problem homogeneous are simple when compared to non homogeneous do not worry okay so first homogeneous means what it will be in the form of ax is equal to 0 right so all zeros you will have no constants okay so let us write ax is equal to 0 so what is a here coefficient matrix coefficient what are the variables we have x y z and omega or w so among uh, these we have to write the coefficient matrix the coefficient of x is 1 y is also 1 here we don't have the z term right we don't have z so that is why what we have to do z is 0 and w is 1 next here we don't have x and w so x is not there w is not there the remaining two are 1 here we have everything so 1 1 1 1 here 1 y also 1 coefficient of z is 2 w we don't have so 0 a x x is nothing but the variable matrix what variables we have x y z down w is equal to 0 0 matrix you have to write okay so now what you have to do is consider a okay consider the matrix a 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 0 echelon form we have to do right in homogeneous you need not consider the augmented matrix a b you can directly go with a okay so this is the diagonal let us uh, identify the diagonal so below diagonal whatever are there that you have to make zeros that is these elements should be made zeros this is already zero so now what we have to do these two should be made zeros first so r3 will become r3 minus r1 1 minus 1 0 next 1 minus 1 again 0 so r4 also r4 minus r1 so what you will get 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 minus 1 r3 minus r1 we are doing 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 0 0 1 0 mm, correct next r4 minus r1 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 0 is 2 0 minus 1 is minus 1 okay so now what we have to do let us again identify the diagonal so this is the diagonal right so the below the diagonal the only this 2 is left over so how do you make it as a 0 so r4 will become r4 minus 2 r3 2 into 1 you will get 2 2 minus 2 0 so r4 minus 2 r3 so r1 r2 r3 same write them as it is 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 mm r4 minus 2 r3 these two are 0 so these two are 0 same 0 0 you will get 2 minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 into r3 is 0 so minus 1 only you will get okay so this is the matrix that you will get now see the diagonal this is the diagonal and all the elements below the diagonal are 0 done that's all only to such a cute problem it is so all the elements below the diagonal are 0 so we are done with the echelon form we can stop the echelon form now so what is our next step we have to cal identify the rank of the matrix a so how many non-zero rows we have one two three four all four are non-zero only so the rank of a is equal to four and what is n n is nothing but number of unknowns right how many unknowns we have x y z w one two three four four unknowns we have in homogeneous if rank of a is equal to number of unknowns then what is the condition it has a zero solution zero solution in the sense all are equal to zero that is x is equal to y is equal to 
z is equal to w is equal to 0 all the values will be equal to 0 this is the solution okay in case of homogeneous if the rank of the matrix a and number of unknowns are equal then you will have a zero solution got it in case of non homogeneous it is consistent and two different uh, scenarios will arise right so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end i hope this video is useful for you if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure so yeah that's all let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel and if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i know this is a very short video and a very short problem uh Yes, you have to uh, come across these kind of problems when you are in a <laughs> pressure of solving so big, big problems. So that's all. Let's meet up in the next coming video with Gauss elimination method, Gauss seed Seidel method, and LU decomposition method and all. Okay. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Bye bye.